Hi, and welcome to how to auto-provision Polycom phone video tutorial. In this video, we will use Polycom VVX500 to demonstrate the auto-provisioning. However, the same procedure can be used for other Polycom phones, as it is very similar. Before you start, the first thing you need to do is to reset your phone to factory settings. Unless your phone is brand new and is currently set to factory settings, then you don't have to do this step. Otherwise, with your phone turned on, press and hold 0, 1 and 3 dial pad keys to reboot your phone. During the reboot, select Cancel to interrupt the application startup. And on Reboot Countdown screen, press and hold 1, 3 and 5 dial pad keys. Shortly, you will be asked to enter admin password. Default Polycom password is 456. If you have changed the password, you will have to enter your own admin password. Once done, select OK to reset your phone to factory settings. It will take a minute for your phone to reset and reboot. And once done, you need to check your firmware version. It is important that your phone is loaded with the appropriate firmware version. Different models may require different firmware versions. You can look up which firmware version is supported for your device at wiki.bicomsystems.com slash UADs. To check which firmware version you have, navigate to your home screen. And under Settings, Status Menu, choose Platform and then select Application Main. If you have trouble installing the firmware, please contact Bicom's support team. Next, you will have to adjust UAD settings, create the extension and register your phone. Inside the tenant settings, under Auto Provisioning section, enter the username and password for provisioning server. Remember this as you will need it later in this tutorial. Once done, click Save to apply the settings. Next, select Desired Tenant and under Tenants Settings menu, navigate to UAD. Find your device and open the Device Edit options. Make sure that under General section, Status is set to Active. And under Auto Provisioning section, Auto Provisioning and DHCP is set to Yes. Once done, click Save to apply the settings. Next, under Extension menu, click on Add Extension. Select your device from UAD list and under Location, Set Remote. Click Next Step button. Specify the extension name and email. Select the department and under the Mac, enter the Mac address of the phone. You can find the Mac address on the back of your phone and also on the phone home screen under Settings, Status, Platform, Phone. Once you have entered Mac address, click Save to apply the settings. This completes all the settings you need to do inside a PBXphere. However, you may want to enable directory slash PLF list for the extension. To do that, under Enhanced Services, select Access Granted next to directory slash PLF list and click Save. Next, click the directory slash PLF list edit button. Add the desired extensions to the list. Check the PLF button next to each extension and click Save to apply the settings. When you are done with PBX for settings, you will need to register your Polycom phone by setting provisioning server. Easiest way to do this is through the phone web interface. You will need the phone IP address in order to access the phone web interface. To obtain the IP address of the phone, inside the phone home screen, click on Settings, Status, Platform, Phone, and under IP field, you will see your phone IP address. Enter the address in your browser. You will be prompted with certificate warning. Add a site to the exceptions and log in as an admin. Default Polycom password is 456. If you have changed the password, you will have to enter your own admin password. Once logged in, under Settings menu, click on Provisioning Server, and under Server Type, choose HTTP. 
enter your server address slash PROV and enter the provisioning server username and password that you have previously entered under tenants server settings. Click save and then OK to apply the new settings. If you have entered everything correctly, your phone will reboot automatically. Once your phone is finished rebooting, you should have successfully registered your phone to PBXware. Thank you for watching this video and if you need more help, be sure to visit Bicom Systems Wikimedia page.